okay welcome to the video of discussing the working of a triac a triac is equivalent to two SCRs silicon control rectifiers connected in anti parallel so this is the cross sectional view of a triac see as triac can conduct in both the directions term anode and cathode are not applicable to triac so its three terminals are usually designated as main terminal 1 empty 1 main terminal 2 empty 2 and the gate by g as in a thyristor so um, with no signal to the gate the triac will block both half cycles of the ac applied voltage in case peak value of the voltage is less than the break over voltage so the triac can be turned on in each half cycle of the applied voltage by applying a positive or negative voltage to the gate with respect to terminal mt1 so we will look into the turn off process of a triac okay there are Uh, four possible ways so we will discuss uh, one by one the first uh, uh, is that the main terminal one here mt1 is negative mt2 is positive and the gate is also positive so what happens here is that we will first we will examine the junctions P1, N1 are forward biased as MT2 is positive and MT1 is negative, and P2, N2 is also forward biased, but junction N1, P2 is reverse biased. See, as the gate is positive with respect to main terminal one, the gate current will flow through this P2, N2 region, and this gate current. injects lot of charge carriers into this p2 region this region and this uh, congestion of charge carriers will leads to the breakdown of this reverse biased in one p2 region so as this breakdown happen the current will start to flow in the path P1, N1, P2, and N2. So the final conduction will be P1, N1, P2, N2. So this is the first mode of turn off process, and we will look into the second one here. This is the second way of turn off process. Here, MT1 is negative and M2, MT2 is positive, as just we have discussed in the mode one. the only change is here that the gate is negative so as gate is negative the gate current flow direction will be just opposite that of uh, the first mode of oper operation and here p1 n1 is uh, forward biased p2 n2 is forward biased p2 n3 is also forward biased and n1 p2 is reverse biased so the gate flows through this direction at that p2 n3 gate will this gate current will inject charge carriers and this will lead to the depletion sorry the breakdown of this reverse bias junction and the initial conduction of current will be in this direction p1 n1 p2 n3 okay so as this path conducts the voltage drop will for but the potential of this region okay the left side of region p2 will starts to increase and it will it will try to attain the potential of mt2 that is main terminal 2 so what happens is that now the potential of uh, left side of p2 is different from the right side of p2 there exists a potential gradient between these two sides so what happens the current will 
divert from this left side to the right side due to this potential gradient and the final conduction will be P1, N1, P2 and N2. Okay, this is the uh, second mode of a uh, turn off process and we will now look into the third mode. This is the third mode, okay. Here the difference is that main terminal 1 is positive. In the second, the main terminal 1 was negative. So here the main terminal 1 is positive and main terminal 2 is negative and gate is positive. So what happens is that the gate current flows See, as gate is positive with uh, respect to this region, the gate will gate current will flow through P2 and uh, in uh, P2 N2. The regions, uh, the, the junctions P2 N1, P1 N4 are forward biased, but the junctions N1, sorry, the junction N1 P1 is reverse biased. So as this gate current flows in this direction the region N2 will inject more electrons to the P2 region and this will lead to the breakdown of the reverse bias junction N1 and P1 so in this way the conduction will occur and it, the current will flow through P2, N1, P1 and N4 okay and the final mode of turn off process is the there is always a little difference from the third mode that the gate is now negative here so the direction of the gate current changes here ok uh, similarly this the region N3 will inject electrons to the P region and this will uh, lead to the breakdown of uh, the reverse bias junctions and current will flow through P2, N1, P1 and N4